Okay, we're going to use the TM-1000 uh, right here to show you a phenomenon known as charging. Uh, this is what happens when you use a non-conductive sample. Now, if you recall, the, uh, the electron gun gives off electrons and we have a positive charge down on the stage to pull those electrons toward our specimen. But if the specimen doesn't conduct those electrons, then uh, it can actually become negatively charged and, and the charge build up. So let's take a look at this. What I've got here, first of all, is this is a Tylenol tablet and I use it because it's non-conductive and I know that it will charge up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom on in here for a second, say about 1500x, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the observation mode. Now right, there, right now I've got this on uh, charger production mode. Let me show you, I'm going under setting up here in the menu, observation mode, I'm going to go to standard mode. Standard mode pulls more air out of the uh, viewing chamber and what's going to happen over a period of time here, if you watch carefully, is the this specimen, the Tylenol here, will start to charge up. And by charge up, what it means is it's going to literally become negatively charged. And if you recall that since what the detectors detect are electrons, once this thing gets charged up, it gives off tons of electrons, and as it gives those off, you just get a brighter and brighter and brighter image, and then it really starts to glow, and you don't see any detail at all. So we're going to let this charge for a second. The other thing that will happen with charging is starting to happen right here is the fact that as the beam passes, sometimes the specimen will discharge. So right in this area right here, you can see we've got some skipped lines. Uh, that's where the specimen did it built up a charge and that charge left and it caused the, the detector to, to skip, if you will. Uh, so wow, this is really charged up now. We let this run for a few seconds here. So how do we fix this? Well, with the TM1000, we can allow a tiny bit of air into the chamber. So under setting, I'm going to go to observation mode and I'm going to go to charge up production mode. The scope clicks and it lets a tiny, tiny bit of air into the chamber. That's enough air to allow this charge to dissipate. And you can already see the effects of that. We're starting to, to see that charging disappear. So uh, why not use the charge up reduction mode all the time? Well, because the, the picture is a little bit more grainy. We introduce a little bit more noise when we do that. But uh, this is charging and how you deal with it. Now on the big scope, as you'll find out, uh, the S3400N, um, you just you can control the atmosphere very, very finely. You can find that magic little point where the specimen won't charge, but where you also have the least amount of noise. All right, so there's charging and how to deal with it.